With AR devices, we're asking the question, how do we build a computing platform that is truly human-centric? Facebook Reality Labs is a pillar of Facebook that's dedicated to bringing AR and VR to people, to us, to consumers of the world. Every single new computing era requires new input devices, new the set of interactions that really make this possible. With AR glasses, I think that the key here is to communicate with our computers in a way that is intuitive at an entirely new level. The wrist is a great starting point for us technologically because it opens up new and dynamic forms of control. This is where some of our core technologies like EMG come into play. Neural interfaces, when they work right, and we still have a lot of work to go here, feel like magic. So if you send a, a control to your muscle saying, I want to move my finger, it starts in your brain, it goes down your spine through motor neurons, and this is an electrical signal. So we should be able to grab that electrical signal on the muscle and say, oh, okay, the user wants to move their finger. What is it like to feel like pushing a button without actually pushing it? And that could be as simple as, hey, I just want to move this cursor up or move it left. Well, normally I would do that by actually moving. But here, you're able to move that cursor left. And it's because you and a machine agreed which neurons mean left and which neurons mean right. You're in this constant conversation with the machine. This new form of control, it requires us to build an interface that adapts to you and your environment. Everything starts with a click. The intelligent click is the ability to do these highly contextual actions in a very low friction manner. It's kind of the purest form of a superpower. You are in control, but the system is, is exactly inferring the right thing for you to control. All you have to do to operate it is just click. So for example, if I'm cooking and I'm kind of pulling some noodles out of a box. The interface could ask me, would you like to start boiling the water? The wrist can also be a spot where the technology is communicating back to the user. The haptics, the sensation of touch around us, this is part of how we learn and, and use motor control is critical to AR and XR. We wondered, as you pull back the bowstring on a bow, if we tied that not to the tension growing on people's fingers, but rather squeezing on the wrist, would it add to that experience, like you're pulling back the bowstring? The answer is yes that future, it really is the computer that is uh, seamlessly integrated into your day-to-day -day life. But the next computing platform is the mixed reality platform, the one that really totally blends your virtual environment and your real environment in a seamless way. We're in this moment where we can move from personal computing to personalized computing. What if you and a computer agreed to design a keyboard together and you type faster on it than anybody else in the world could type on your keyboard? I think what this enables is the ability to not have to focus on a computer on a phone and be able to still interact with other people. It's going to open up a new generation of communication and access and navigation. It leads to this phenomena of increased agency, of you feeling like a level of control you've never had before. We want computing experiences where the human is the absolute center of the entire experience.